So in an earlier video, you were shown how to select a subset um, of a data set based on information. So we saw how to select um, information where the airport code in this case was equal to Atlanta. Now we've selected it, but we've not extracted it or limited it, limited uh, the information. So we have tons of information here. So what if we just want to extract that which has been selected? Let's look at how we do that. So if we go over here to data, arrange, and then we're looking to get a subset of that data. And since we already have that information selected, um, now we just need to tell it which columns we wish. So you see I've selected, um, I've indicated, take those rows that are already selected. And then I'm going to look at airport code and let's just get a subset of information here. So airport code, uh, let's see what else do we want. Um, flights canceled, flights delayed, and say flights total. And we'll open this up in a new data table. So let's hit compute there. And so now you'll see that we have merely 152 rows here and it's all Atlanta and we have flights canceled, delayed, and total number of flights. And these were um, on a monthly basis. So if I wanted to um, figure out what the average number of flights delayed on a monthly basis, I could just take this information and then determine what the average number of flights delayed per month. Um, and if I wanted to figure out the total number of flights delayed or the average proportion, right? The average proportion of flights delayed. We could also look at that um, by using this information here. 